I am down here with this spin bike that I reviewed years ago and the fiberglass pad that slows the spinning disc in the front has worn out and it's not providing any resistance. So I bought some replacements and I'm gonna see if they work. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. These are by Ozno. And these are replacement pads for spin bikes. And I'm hoping that everyone uses the same kind of pad, that it's pretty universal because I couldn't find like a listing for this L Now bike replacement pads. And these were very cheap. I think the two pack was like 11 bucks or 10 bucks. So $5 a pad and I got two of them. And it didn't really dawn on me that spin bikes, you, know, you have these fiberglass like pads and that as they spin, it's just gonna kind of wear them away. And that's what's happened on the one in here. And no matter how much you tighten it down, it doesn't have any material left to slow the wheel down. So you get no resistance, which makes it a lot easier to work out, but probably not as good for your body or your health. So one of the things that I need to do here is take off this like cover here, unscrew the old pad, see if these will fit on and see if this will work. I'm not sure if these are going to work. They kind of look like the same thing, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a minute difference here and this could be a big fail. So let's get the covers off and and the old pad out and see if I can actually rejuvenate to this spin bike. All right, so here's this L now, and you can see there, that's a switch, the screw that pushes this pad down. It doesn't look that bad on the side, but it's because it's offset. So you can see here where it's actually pressing down on the wheel. And I think it's because the wheel maybe spins this way or something. It's kind of pushed it off the track a little bit. So you can see what it used to be. But if I go over here to the other side, you can see that that material is basically gone. And like I said, even though it's screwed down all the way, it's not putting that plastic against the wheel and there's just nothing that is breaking this big disc here. So let's go ahead and get this off and see if we can replace it. There's a little nut on the other side there and I might need some pliers just to hold it in place. All right, the screws are out. I have loosened this up so that the little plunger isn't pushing on it. So I think I can just kind of pull it out here. You can see how it works and where it's all worn away on that one side that was contacting. Now let's see if this looks like the ones that I just bought. All right, so at the moment I'm pretty hopeful. The holes look pretty similar, but I will tell you that the one that I took off is definitely a little bit longer right here. I mean, it's probably four or five millimeters longer. So hopefully that's not a big deal. But up top looks like the same thing, that little tray there where the plunger pushes down on it. So let's go ahead and see if it fits. It's close, but I'm not convinced that it's gonna work yet. Oh man. I don't know why sometimes the simple things make me super stoked, but they fit. It was kind of tight. So maybe the holes were just a little bit bigger on the old one because it got worn out. So it kind of took me a while to get them threaded through there, but now it's all bolted down. And as you can see, if I tighten this down, it pushes down. And now this wheel absolutely can get locked into place. So that is, you can hear it scraping right there. So that is a really great sign that this spin bike is back in business. So I'm really stoked that this little $5 pad here is kind of a universal fit for these types of bikes. So if you want to pick up these pads to breathe new life back into your spin bike, I will put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.